Just to give perspective on, on this child sex abuse issue, because a lot of people say, well, it's such a sensitive issue, that's the reason why they don't want to talk about it or address it, because people are, are just not comfortable talking about it. But, but the problem is they're not comfortable talking about all kinds of other issues in the school system and around the county. So, so this is a, a Civic Federation newsletter from uh, 18 years ago. And uh, those are volunteers, uh, volunteer stand-ins uh, with paper bags over their heads representing MCPS teacher whistleblowers. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so we've been doing this for, for a while. And so um, just in it, last month, uh, we had a number of issues that, that really highlight the, the problem. So for example, uh, the synthetic turf fields that the county bought that have lead and 12 known human carcinogens and while the rest of the country is taking the ma manufacturer to court uh, in, uh, in our county they just kept using the fields, didn't let anybody know that they were dangerous never filed the warranty claim, so instead of suing the manufacturer they're covering up for the manufacturer that is now um, the target of a federal class action fraud suit. So while the rest of the country is suing these bad guys in Montgomery County, we're, we're covering up for them. And so to this day, to this day, they will not turn over the concussion tests. They're supposed to do concussion safety tests once a year. They will not turn over that information. And if you think uh, that this is also an outlier, there's the same situation with radon. They were hiding dangerous levels of radon in the schools and when uh, volunteers from the Parents Coalition and the Civic Federation filed MPIAs and realized how bad the problem was, they said, well, you're supposed to do radon tests on a periodic basis. Where's the historic radon tests? And they were stonewalled. MPIAs or not, they will not uh, the school system will not say what the, what the radon tests uh, are and what they showed and when they knew uh, many of these school buildings were dangerous and who knew about it and who made the decision to cover this all up. None of this we were able to find out with this radon situation. And so, um, you know, to the sexual abuse uh, situation in, in Pennsylvania, it's not that Jerry Sandusky went, you know, to jail, is behind bars. It's actually Penn State former president and two top administrators that got prison terms, prison terms for covering up child sex abuse. And so uh, in Montgomery County, uh, we have on a regular basis these Jerry Sanduskys. We have multiple Jerry Sanduskys. And even though the Washington Post found memos that implicated the superintendent and principals and top administrators that, that knew, knew for years about these problems. We have, we have the proof. Nobody went to jail. Nobody lost their jobs. Nobody was reprimanded. None of that happened. The superintendent was allowed to resign and is now doing speaking tours, and that's a quote from him um, on Fox News. Having a lot of fun, writing a lot, and speaking a lot. The principal at Cloverly, where John Vigna uh, was, uh, was arrested, she knew about John Vigna for years and years and years, and failed to report him to Child Protective Services and the local police. And she still has her job, despite us having proof that she knew for years. She still has her job. She's still the principal. And now they just found out another gentleman who was producing child pornography and who was uh, employed at that school. And so um, in pretty much every other state in the nation, these people would be in jail. Or at the very least, they would have lost their licenses. At, were fined or something. Here, they keep their jobs and they get pay raises. And so, to really put things into perspective, this is what's happening now in the state of Maryland. Um, we're only one of two states in the nation without penalties for the failure to report child sex abuse. 
uh, Maryland and Wyoming, in every other state, there's penalties, criminal penalties, misdemeanors, felonies. Uh, apparently, Maryland is a very special state, and this slide shows just how special. Because instead of criminal penalties for the failure to report, uh, we passed a law that allows uh, child sex offenders to expunge their criminal records. So they can get through background checks and be um, admitted to dealing with children again and reoffend again. And so that's, that's an application on the left by one of these sex offenders who is getting his record expunged as we speak. And the little voting sheet on the, on the right um, was an effort to, to change the law last year because it was a new law and people were like, well, it's clearly a mistake. Child sex offenders should not be able to expunge their records. And this is the voting sheet of, of that law to fix this mistake. This is the voting sheet where the House shut that law down. And so now we have child sex offenders in Maryland expunging their records. And so, this was a short introduction to give you guys perspective on, on the situation with transparency and accountability.